we go. This massive thing that I can barely get into the camera. I bought the tool, tool only. Came like this. There's a little bit of plastic from the packing slip. Bought it on eBay for 120, I think. Model number's on here somewhere. There it is. It's TB ST922B. Here's all the stats. If you want, screenshot this and then go look at your screenshots to see everything. It uses 0 0.08 trimmer line. It's the plastic trimmer line, not the metal. And there's a side of it. Got the tool only because I already have a, a uh, battery myself. I have a couple batteries, as most people do with the Walt, because everything's almost universal. We'll be doing a couple videos on it, how long it lasts. Brand new. Should look good when it comes out of the box. Nothing in there. Hopefully I can get everything in the camera. Oh, out. So there we have the... The guard, which the guards have gotten a lot smaller as the years go on, gives you a tool for assembly. Watch out, because that is a razor blade that cuts the tine as it goes around. Here's your handle. Looks like it'll slide right through there. Slide right through there, and then you must clamp that back down with the four Allen keys. And there's the device itself. Comes with an instruction manual. You can definitely get this off their website. Not enough pictures for me. No, no, no. Not enough pictures. Just teaching you how to use the battery basically so far. There we go. So, uh, there's the whole thing so far. It comes with they're already pre-wound in there. You can see the little line right there. Let's see if I can cut that off. Where's my knife? way out that's nice this is the easy one where you line it up with these two notches must have to go clear around there's a notch right there a notch right there and then it feeds real easy gonna unfold it there we go uh, with the battery in it, it may be a little bit level but the weight is about right there where it's about level good construction i don't see the wires this feels really thin but as long as you don't run over i think it should be all right 20 volt brushless it feels very cheaply made but it feels very sturdy We've got a uh, high low Still got a variable trigger with that, but it has a safe on the side. Safety. Big old head on the back. Slide your battery right in there. It's definitely made for the new like 15 amp hour batteries. Them things are huge. See how wide that is? It's definitely ready for that. There we go. The rest will be put on, fitted to what I like, and we'll do a usage video and check it out. Hopefully I got you guys in the best view possible. i going to try it out for the first time ever. Haven't even kicked it on. Oh, that's nice and clean. That's pulled out to the pulled out to the length. Got you like on a chest cam. It's not, not the best. <clears throat> but it should work. I'm going to try out a 4 amp hour battery. 
and a two. I doubt if the two's gonna last very long, but hey, when you get a new toy, you just wanna keep playing with it. That two amp hour battery just fits in there so weird. It doesn't even take up any room. Definitely doesn't balance it very well. But uh, the four in there, see how it feels. It's still pretty front heavy. Definitely front heavy. I kind of put this where I felt like it needed to go. And try the two amp hour first. Fully charged, just off the charge too. Let's just dink around. Got it on low. Let's try low. So it is variable trigger, even though it's on low. Here I'll go low to high. That enough power for me. Let's see what high is like. Hopefully I'm getting it all in the camera. Here's low or high with variable trigger. That's fast. Okay, I don't like high. I feel like high is more for like mowing grass, not for trimming. <laughs> you don't have as much control. You have control, but uh, it's a bit crazy. And the shield just isn't much. Yeah, I like low. I have it on low and I'm full throttle on low and I have a lot of control. I really don't even let off the throttle the whole time. And it's not so crazy, it's jerking it out of my hands or nothing. It does look like this spot has already started filling up with crap. Hopefully it can still breathe even though there's crap in there. a little bit around the house. You know, I'm going to trim this edge right here. The rock draw. not trying my best just kind of playing with it seeing what all I can do for mowing a yard this is deep right here let's see what I can do
it too bad. Let's see it on high. Now I'm just going to let it go crazy. I think the battery's getting a bit low. It's only a two amp. I'm surprised it lasts that long. Yeah, we're down to one. Let's keep going and see how long it lasts. Um, you got a lot of shrubs. Of course, you don't want to last that long or that short. Uh, high is kind of nothing right now. I kind of got used to the weight. There's no more to trim. <laughs> this is for a different property, but I've ran out of spaces to trim. That's a total mess. I do notice something when I accidentally tap the ground, it extend, does really good about extending out the line. Uh, a little bit short, but it does a really good job. And if I accidentally even tap this, it lets out so much, it kind of gets messed up like I hit a stick or something. And that's it. It just shut itself down to protect the battery. Let's see if it starts back up. I put it on low. Nope, it will not restart. Battery's hot. Won't even light up a light. Let's see if it'll... Nope. So, that one's ready for the charge, but let's go try that 4 amp hour battery. See if it feels like it's got any more power, any more juice. fully charged. We're just going to play with it a little bit. Plenty of room for them big 15 amp hour batteries now. Look at the room on both sides. It's a huge area. Let's try it on high. like it has as much power as the two amp hour right when I put it in definitely not at the end mm -hmm. 
Right there at the end. Let's see how much longer that is. So the only thing I don't like about this is when you're weeding, you're swiping back and forth and you accidentally tap something, it does whatever it just did now. Which as you can see, it's too long. It, it hits it and it's so soft of a hit, it gives out so much that it's too much. And it happens a lot, because I bumped a lot of stuff. My ground ain't level. You're gonna be whacking it pretty close to stuff. That's the only problem I have that it just gives out too much and it's way too easy to put out. I know it's a different head. This is the quick feed head. You line them two up, them two lines up. The only problem I have so far with this quick tutorial, I guess, not filled up, but that area in there filled up with grass immediately. I'm assuming they probably made it so it shoots stuff out see if the battery got too warm front of it was getting a bit warm still three bars not too bad and that is the first use of it I think it did pretty good definitely like it better than um gas weed ears where you just got a pain in the butt amount of stuff to have to do to get it to work gotta go get gas which ain't that bad but this is simple that lasted pretty long I did a lot of the yard at least my yard. Depends on how much yard you got. Thanks for watching. So this is about two seconds after bringing them in. My charger's kind of like in a wild place because we're in the process of moving. This is about two minutes after the video had ended. And the, the little one is still hot enough that it's blinking a code. And the big one went right to charging. So uh, keep that in mind that you're going to have to let it charge more than the time that's allotted. But uh, it will automatically wait until it's hot or cooled off and it will automatically start charging it, at least on my charger, because I've had this happen before with my blower. But yeah, thanks for watching.